So hi out there in Flasty Land. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Friday, July 3rd at approximately 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with a little bit of an update. I, it's been a couple of weeks since I have recorded a video. Um, I'm not sorry about that. Life get, got in the way and I haven't really been doing much in the way of stitching. I've pretty much only been doing um, a lot of diamond painting and playing Animal Crossing because those of you that play Animal Crossing on the Switch know that um, July 3rd in Japan was a big um, update day where they unlocked some of the features in the game that were previously unavailable like swimming and stuff. So I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing recently and doing a lot of diamond painting. I've been trying to get a um, diamond painting, a review diamond painting completed. Um, there's a bug in here that's bothering me. But uh, I've been trying to get this diamond painting that I got as uh, a review kit uh, completed so I can actually get the review finished. It's been almost a year and it just really needs to get done. Um, so I've been trying to um, force myself into doing finishing the diamond painting. I'm almost done. I should be done with it this weekend. So you'll be seeing uh, that review video coming up soon. And um, just wanted to give you some updates and some information or just more haul than anything else because I really don't have any updates. I really didn't stitch much in June. Um, whoops. This is my passion planner for this year. And I pretty much keep track of um, everything going on um, in my life. Um, so let me see. All right. So this is the beginning of June. This is the first week in June. You can see there the first week in June. I had no minutes stitched. The second week in June, I stitched nothing. The third week in June, this is really sad, you guys. The third week in June, I had no minutes stitched. <laughs> the fourth week in June again I'm on a roll goose eggs all the way across and then this is this week this is this week so far you can see I haven't stitched I haven't stitched um, June has been a big old goose egg in the stitching stitching arena. Haven't been keeping up on School of Magical Stitches reading or School of Magical Stitches homework. Um, I didn't do anything in WIPGO for the month of June. Uh, yeah. So I have a lot to go through. So kind of speaking of WIPGO, sorry, you'll hear that. That's the uh, outside faucet. My husband's um, working on the outside Um we just <clears throat> put in a new mailbox out front because um, the mailbox that was here at the house was an old plastic one and it has, uh, the top of it had crumbled in a little bit. My husband kind of poked his hole through it and put a hole in the old mailbox. So we went out this week and got a new mailbox. He had to pull the, the two metal posts that they used to secure the old mailbox in out of the hole, dig the hole a little better. And this morning my husband, sunk the four by four into the ground and uh, filled the thing with cement mix and water and so now we're just waiting for the post to set and for the um so we can put our new bell box on the post so um we're looking forward to that i don't have any pictures i don't have anything to show you but we got a new mailbox um but anyway so um also, this is July 3rd. We have new WIPCO. So you can see here. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. My uh, my thing touched the keyboard, which ultimately shut off the video, my book. So this is my WIPCO board for um, 2020. The ones that have been picked for this year are number five here, which is Santa the Forest, and number eight, which is right here, which is... Um, work on any project whip or new start using silks, overdyes, or silky threads. So I get to work on a couple of projects um, that have specialty threads in them this month and Santa of the Forest. I'm actually looking forward to doing Santa of the Forest because um, it is a Christmas one and there's a lot of Christmas in July sales going on for the, some of the various Facebook groups. So that'll be kind of exciting to be able to do that. But um, anyway, 
Um, over the last couple of weeks, I did get a new issue of Just Cross Stitch magazine. Um, this is the August 2020 issue, Just Cross Stitch magazine. Um, I'm not going to do a full flip through, but there's a few cute pieces in here that I kind of wanted to show you, like um, the Mary Mermaid. Mary Mermaid, Mary Mermaid is really cute. Um, the Sand and Surf Needle Set is really cute. Um, this one is really cute, but this not, it's not a cool theme. It's not necessarily my aesthetic, but this is um, Enjoy Summer. And the middle here is white, but it says Enjoy Summer. So that's really cute. And it's red and white. Um, the kites. Kites in the wind is really cute. That was the cover photo. Okay. And kites in the wind, a sunflower. Um, I don't know how much in this magazine I'm actually going to stitch. We have the summer heat guide, which is really cute. Uh, this this issue kind of wasn't wasn't speaking to me in particular. Um, the Cora Wing Sampler for all of you that do samplers, the Cora Wing Sampler. Um, and then we have some Christmas ornaments, which which is actually really good. Actually, I am going to do probably some of these. Um, Christmas in July, but this is like August. I really kind of like the gingerbread man, the gingerbread person down here. I like the snowman. I like this up here. I like the peppermint. Some of those are really cute. So there's some Christmas ornaments in here. Um, probably do a couple of the Christmas ornaments. Um, the butterflies and bees stitch sampler continues in here. Uh, America, America. <laughs> this one was really cute. The sheep this is the star spangled sheep. Look at that sheep. Look at that sheep, you guys. Uh, blue ribbon pie maker, and then just some other information. All right. Oh, and the Christmas shadow box. This is deck the halls part three. Part three is out. It's the, uh, part three is the stairway, the staircase in the foyer. So, all right. And I think last but not least, oh, actually, uh, a couple things. So, the, the next thing I got in the mail was um, from Craftways. Um, I get the keepsake calendars um for the I've gotten the keepsake calendars for the last couple of years, and um, I don't remember um, selecting this, but Craftways, the publishers of the keepsake calendar, um, sent me a cross stitch Christmas book um, in the mail, um, and uh, Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching received theirs. Um, they got theirs. They sent in a postcard to request the book. Um, they've gotten a couple of them. I, I don't know if I own any more of these. I haven't, haven't really looked at my stash. Um, plus we've been moving. So all my stash is like boxed up and stuff. So, um, I don't know if I received one of these recently, but there's some really, really cute patterns in this book. So I went ahead and sent in my payment for the book. Um, it isn't free. Um, but, um, they sent it in a postcard, um, and the last I checked on Hirschner's, this book wasn't available on Hirschner's um, as of June twenty second. That was the last time I checked on Hirschner's for this book. But um, I don't, I don't know if you could do a search for a Cross Stitch Christmas publication by Craftways. And it's, this year's book is called Warmest Wishes, but there's really cute patterns in here. They also sent out this free um, Hoops for the Holidays little insert where it gives you some patterns that you can um, um, frame in hoops. There's some really cute patterns in here. 
mini hoop ornaments, gentle hearts at Christmas, um, a wreath, peace, Noel, and joy, a classic, classic Christmas hoops. I can't show you the pages because they have the patterns on them, but these are really cute. Um, this was a freebie that was included in the, in the book. So, um, that was really cute, but there's some really cute patterns in this book. If you haven't seen it, um, yeah, some really, really cute things like, um, ugh, it's just so cute. You guys and just adorable. There's really cute patterns in this book. Um, one of the ones I like, look at this, look at this Santa stocking. Santa stocking is really cute. And then these, uh, bookmarks bookmarks are cute. Uh, let me get to a couple other ones here. Um, playful palette. Um, a very Merry Christmas. I think this was Doreen. Is this a Doreen Jones? Um, I don't know. But look at these uh, ugly Christmas sweaters. And then you have the, uh, the polar bear. That's cute. With the Christmas sweaters and the polar bear. Um, there's quite a few projects out of this book I'm probably going to consider stitching. Then there's this really cute reindeer. See the skating reindeer? And the bird. Really cute book. Uh, Home for Christmas truck. Can you follow along? But um, it's really cute. Uh, there's a couple more in here that I'll probably do. Here's some um, perforated paper ornaments. Look at all those ornaments. Olive and Merlot. This is greens and red on perforated paper ornaments. Really cute set. Look at this stylized Noel. And I'm so big on the lady throwing her child up in the air with the Christmas tree in the background. It's not my aesthetic. This is adorable. Look at these cats, you guys. Look at these Carolyn cats. And that's all full coverage cross stitch. So you stitch everything on that, you guys. And look at that. Look at these 3D Christmas trees. Those are cute, too. I'm going to have to actually make some of those. Um, yeah. So this is a really cute book, you guys. Sorry. Pretty pastels. And these stand-ups. Merry Christmas. And look at these. Look at Okay, look at the, the squirrel, the rabbit, the bear, and the fox or raccoon. Fox. Look at those. Those are cute. Really cute. And then you have um this one is I saw three ships on Christmas. Christmas morning. So this is three ships right here. This is three ships. And then you have that. Both of those are really cute. So yeah, you have that and that. And then you have gilded greetings. This is peace on earth. A little nativity sampler kind of thing. Mm hmm Mold one. Look at this Biscornu, you guys. The Biscornu is gorgeous. All right. Then you have Merry and Bright and Rejoice. A lot of neat, 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 neat things in here. So a lot of neat, neat things in here for you to stitch and enjoy for the holidays. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. So we have some stuff at the end. These are no snow Christmas. The only white Christmas you'll find in this chapter are the white sandy beaches of the tropical coast. So here's some little cards. I know I'm flipping through this kind of fast, but I'm just trying to get through this. And then you have a snowman, snow globe, and Santa's snow panties on a pink and white. Really cute. Then you have sand sur sun surf sand, season's greetings. And then you have um, some really cute uh, ornaments. I like the uh, reindeer swimmering. I like the flip-flops in this uh, 
Christmas flamingo. Really cute. These are cute too. Santa Santa Claus crab and dolphins and parrots. Santa Claus crab and dolphins and parrots. And then so that's it for that. And that's pretty much it for the book. There's quite a few really cute pick pieces in here that I'm probably going to end up stitching at some point. Um, I know it's Christmas in July, but uh, a lot of people um, are stitching a lot of Christmas stuff, so maybe I can get some inspiration out of this book and start something kind of fun for July. I haven't really 100% decided it, but um, I don't know. A part of it depends on if I can get that diamond painting finished this weekend or not. Um, it is for the July weekend, and I worked for four hours today. Um, I'm trying to find a place to put my book. <laughs> Um, but I did work for four hours today, so um, that is cool. Put that up there for now. Hopefully it won't fall. Um, and then, so I did get my third quarantine box from my local needle workshop, Christ, Cross My Heart, here in Columbus. Um, we had to sign up for three boxes um, minimum because they weren't sure how long the quarantine um, stitching box uh, subscription was going to last. So I did get my third box uh, this last week, and I was really excited. So I did previously open it up to take a look at it. Um, so it came in my box this time. I got the Erica Michaels Sunshine Day. Yeah, I've been kind of collecting the Erica Michaels berries. And I got the Erica Michaels Easter Babies Berry Silk Berry. Now, in the prior box, um, I when I opened it, when I opened this box up and I saw this in here, I was like, wait a minute, I think I already received that. No. In my last box, they sent me the Erica Michaels Easter Babies Linen Berry. So I have both the silk berry and the linen berry and as you can see in the pictures they are slightly different um the silk berry pattern also comes with this the little chicky in the middle but it also comes with a 40 count silk to go with um that you stitch the silk berry on so i actually have the linen berry and the silk berry which is really really kind of nice i'm looking forward to that um and um one of the other things that came in here was I got this uh, really cute package of these buttons. Look at that dog face. Look at that dog. He's so cute. He is just adorable. But yeah, so I have the um, this little package of buttons. I have um, Classic Colorworks Tufted Yellow, which is kind of a very pale yellowish cream. And then I have Weeks Dye Works Saffron which is another yellow. Um, each one of these goes with, um, one of these goes, the tufted yellow goes for the sunshine berry and the um, saffron goes for the uh, Easter baby's berry. So I have uh, a couple of the colors that I didn't already have for that. And they also sent me silk and ivory um, color 33 taffy. Lot number 659. This is from Brown Paper Packages in Kentucky. And it's very soft. It's very pink. It's a pink. Um, but it's very soft. And it is um, a 50% silk, 50% merino wool made in Switzerland. And there's 28.8 yards of it. But it's called Silk and Ivory. This was in my box too very soft very nice this is the first of this color kind of floss that i have um and then so their free kit every month they tried to put in a free kit um free little kit that they kitted up from a free pattern so this month's um pattern comes from thistles t-h-i-s-t-l-e-s -E thistles and it's called i can't stop stitching so this is the this is the pattern thistles. I can't stop stitching. And you can see it's, uh, you can do this in um, Gentle Arch Threads or DMC. The model <clears throat> on the picture is stitched in Gentle Arch Thread, but my needle workshop, um, Cross My Heart, kitted it up for us in DMC. So we have the kit, and it came in this really cute little um, organza bag. 
So we have the um, we have the linen, which is uh, just kind of a kind of a brown. It looks more brown in real life than it does in the video. It's kind of washed out, but they just kitted it up in the DMC gloss for us. So I have this little kit that I can I can work on. Um, I'm gonna have to take some of these freebies freebie kits that I got now. Um, from Camp Goddess Stitch the last couple of years and also here and maybe do like a um, a kit a free kit free kit uh, a free kit month where I work on free little kits and get them finished and stitched up but yeah that's pretty much all my haul for the last couple of weeks since my last video like I said I don't have very much in the way of updates um, just because um, I haven't been stitching much um, we're pretty much out of the other house. Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, um, our friend will know his financing and we'll be able to get um, the house transferred over to him. <laughs> so um, we'll be all kind of done with the whole moving thing. Um, been mowing, doing all kinds of stuff here at the new house, just kind of settling in, trying to get everything organized. We still haven't ordered furniture from Ikea yet. <clears throat> um, a couple of the other things, our county, our county is in the middle of Ohio. <clears throat> Columbus is in the middle of Ohio. And our county in the last two weeks have had, has had the biggest increase in coronavirus cases. So um, our governor, Mike DeWine, our Ohio governor, Mike DeWine, um, yesterday implemented this um, warning level, I guess, um, COVID-19 coronavirus warning level system to evaluate where the counties stand in the state. And right now our county is almost at the highest threat level or warning level at stage four. We haven't hit stage four yet, but we're the only county that's approaching having six or seven of the um, indicators um, that the virus is um, severe in our area. And um, we're pretty much, I, I imagine that over this weekend, we're probably gonna move up into the into th threat level four. Um, and we're the only county in the state right now that is at that level. Um, where there's like four or five counties in Ohio that are at level three, quite a few in level two, and most, most of the rest of the state is in level one. Um, but yeah, our um, city governor, a city governor, um, Ginther yesterday, um, said he was going to sign into order effective today um, mandatory face masks in public. So um, we're gonna we're experiencing mandatory face masks masks in public, which is okay because my husband, my mom, and I we've been wearing face masks in public anyway when we've been going out. But I have a feeling that. Um, the Ohio governor is going to have to start is issuing shutdowns based on counties and the threat level of the new guidelines that he put out. So um, we may be looking at being shut down again, which is fine because I also found out um, about two weeks ago or a week ago, last week, um, work was going to implement returning people to the office. And um, originally, they're they're going to start off with 10% of the people in the in the building, and um, so that would have meant one person on our team because our team we only have about 10 people um, on our team, and they were going to send one person back to the office according to our our upper management. You know they had a plan to send one person back to the office, and guess who that person was going to be? Um, but. Uh, there's been some discussion amongst management and it, it's probably really not feasible for my department to be sending less than two or three people back to the department or back to the building um, just because of everything going on. And now with our county being at a higher threat level um, for the virus and more cases popping up. I mean, our cases have been increasing. We're over a thousand cases a day now. Um, again, <laughs> we were we were dropping for a while, but in the last two weeks, we our cases have been increasing daily, and I think 
our county's like over a thousand cases a day, something like that, or our, our state's over a thousand cases a day. Our county is at almost 10,000 cases last I knew. Um, we're probably over that now, but uh, that's just in our county alone. And basically the entire city of Columbus takes up the entire county. So um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if our governor um, kind of shuts us down again. Um, bars and restaurants are still open, retail establishments are still open, but people are being stupid and not wearing masks. And yeah, I'm sorry if you feel that you have a legitimate reason for not wearing a mask, that may be the case, but I urge you, if at all possible, please wear a mask because this stuff is not a joke. And um, if you absolutely 100% feel you can't wear a mask, either don't go out, please don't go out because you or someone else you don't know may have it and give it to you or you may give it to somebody else because you don't know you have it. Or if you m insist on going out, please stay six feet or more away from everybody else around you if you're not wearing a mask in public. Um, just know also that in Columbus, you're now going to be required to wear a mask in public. So um, just wear a mask and stay away from people. That's the best you can do. They've also stated that one of the things that's um, causing increases in uh, the cases in Ohio, uh, people returning to church. Yeah, my church is opening, um, had had their first like in church session last week. Um, they're doing, they're only accepting 50 people into the church for church service on Sunday. And I'm probably not gonna go now um, because I, I, I am in a high risk category. I live with my mother who is also high risk. And um, yeah, so um, the fact that cases are increasing, I just don't wanna get sick. And so um, I'm looking forward to playing bells because it's, it's there's only going to be five or six of us for church bell for the bell choir at church. Um, we can easily social distance and wear masks and play bells, um, and we're going to record record our sessions so we can um, send them for the virtual service that our church holds. But uh, I don't know at this point with the increase in um, cases here in Columbus, I don't really know that I will be going to church. Um, my husband, my mom and I, we've gone out to eat at a couple of restaurants in the last couple of weeks just to for something different. We do go out to eat, but um, we do maintain our social distance and we only go to the restaurants that have um, enforced mask wearing and seating is appropriately distanced. So um, that's probably going to change though. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so that's all I have for you this week. I hope you guys are staying safe. Take care. I don't know when my next video is going to be, but I um, just kind of wanted to drop in and say hi. It's been a little bit. Um, hopefully y'all have some stitchy updates in the month of July and show you some progress on some whips. I'm not really sure what I'm going to work on. I don't know if I'll get to any of my WIBGO things. I don't know if I'll get to School of Magical Stitches homework or any of the other Facebook group homeworks or any of the other challenges or any of the stitch alongs. Um, but anyway, that's where I got. I haven't started the the huge epic Pokemon thing that um, I got with Waldo in it. I haven't started that yet. Um, I might start that uh, this month. Who knows? Anyways, that's all I got for you. I hope to talk to you soon. And um, until next time, keep on keeping on. Stay safe and stay healthy. And wear your masks because it only helps. It, it can't hurt. And it definitely is not hurting you. So anyway, take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now. So hi there in Flash Tube Land. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. It is Friday, July 3rd at about 6.15 p.m. I'm just coming to you with a little bit of an update. So after I last left you um, on the last, last video that I recorded, um, I actually got to 
stop at a couple of places this afternoon. Um, I went to Cross My Heart, my local needle workshop, and I picked up the latest installment of the um, Snow Village series by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is Iced Coffee Cafe. So this is the, lat, the next chart that is out in the series. I picked this up. And they also had the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. This is the Halloween um, special collector's issue that is not available through subscription. So I picked up the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. This issue is really, really cute. This uh, picture on the front of the, on the cover is so adorable and so absolutely cute that I am probably going to turn it into a diamond painting. Here it is. Look how cute that cat is, you guys. Perfect Halloween is the is the name of it. Look how cute he is. And so on here, he's done on black fabric. And I can't really tell if the black in the cat is stitched in this, but the um, space between the pumpkin and the cat and up here in the corner is not charted as um, stitching. So this would make a beautiful, beautiful diamond painting, especially if you would use ABs for the eyes and such. To make a beautiful, absolutely beautiful but diamond painting. So everything is stitched. The pumpkin is stitched. The leaves are stitched. The cat is stitched. And the black in the cat is charted for stitching. Um, but I just think this would be a really stunning diamond painting. There is no back stitch in this. So you don't have to worry about outlining and stuff. Um, the white <clears throat> in the pumpkin is stitched. Um, so yeah. This is going to make a gorgeous diamond painting, you guys. So that's what I plan on doing with that. Um, there's lots of really cute um, things in here. Other people have likely done walkthroughs for the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue, but some of the ones that I really like <clears throat> include this pumpkin up here. That's really cute. These cats are just absolutely cute. Um, let me get to the next section here. Of course, you have the big cat from the front cover. Um, lots of other different things going on in here. Um, here's some other smaller pieces that are included in here, including this window. This window is really nice. This cat, the owl on the books, is really neat. That's done on that the model is done on perforated paper. Um, There's Trick and Squeak's Pantry. This is a rat, you guys. Look at that rat. That rat is adorable. Fur rat. If rats can be adorable, that's an adorable rat. This is by Shannon Grierson of Bobbin and Fred. F-R-E-D. Um, let's see what else. Oh, there's some bookmarks. These Halloween bookmarks are cute, including the word boo, but look at those. Um, so I'm going through this quick. Halloween haul. Um, here's ghosts and goblins. This one's really cute here. A candy a day keeps the monsters away. That's a Doreen Jones pattern. That one's really cute. Um, Probably end up stitching that at some point. There's lots of neat things. Oh, here's an here's a bit better picture of the candy a day. Green Jones. Um, spooky selfies, little ghosts. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Jack. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to do a 100% walkthrough on this because other people have probably done it. Here's some haunted houses, little um, patterns. Mm -hmm. They're really, really cute. Just 
Shadows Whisper by Nancy Greenberg of Pickle Barrel Designs. Shadows Whisper. Really neat little saying. Um, Don't Be Scared. This one's really cute. This is original artwork by Kim Leo of Kim's Cottage Art. Cross Stitch Adaptation by Elizabeth Spurlock. This one's really nice. Don't Be Scared. Pumpkins. They have lots of pumpkin ones in here. Pumpkin bouquet. Um, this one is also by Dirty and Jones. No, the other one, the uh, Mon Monsters one. Let me go back. The, I think that Monsters one is not Dirty and Jones. I'm sorry. The Monsters one is by Amanda Jennings and Ashley Anderson of the Frosted Pumpkin. So this is from the Frosted Pumpkin. I'm sorry that I originally said it was from Doreen Jones. This is Frosted Pumpkin. The one in here that's from Doreen Jones is also really cute. It's called Trick or Treat. This is the Doreen Jones one. She is really cute. And we uh, witchy stitches, including we witch you a happy Halloween. And um, this little Glendora's hat down here. This is by Carol Grant. Um, Carol Grant is the owner of Fireside Originals. And she's also one of the co-owners of Cross My Heart here in Columbus, Ohio. But she, her, she designed this. This is Glendora's hat. And then we witch you a happy Halloween is really cute. A lot of these look like they'd be pretty quick stitches. So, um, oh, it's Endora's hat, not Glendora's hat. Endora's hat. Sorry about that. Pick your poison, which is really cute. And that's it for most of the stuff in the Just Cross Stitch 2020 Halloween issue. It's really cute. Um, this, again, this piece on the front would make really good diamond painting if you're into diamond painting. Um, if you haven't actually um, diamond painted based on a cross stitch pattern, um, stick with me because I am doing a heaven and earth design diamond painting of one of the pieces that I've actually already stitched. Um, so you'll have to keep, keep watching my channel for that, um, because I'm planning on doing a, um, kit up and kind of a <clears throat> paint along with me on that. Um, and then, so we also made a trip to, um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby because, um, well, they had some, they carry a size of even new fabric there that I needed to get. And um, I am planning on starting, let me dig out my tablet here. I am planning on starting um, a Carolyn Manning Designs design um, here pretty soon um, called Pandemic. It was free to download the last week in June. Let me see if I can find it in here. There we go. It's not not Carolyn Manning Designs. I'm sorry. It's by Long Dog Samplers, and it was by Pandemic. But um, here is here is the thing. It's Long Dog Samplers. Boy, I'm making all kinds of mistakes today. Um, Long Dog Samplers, and uh, it's called Pandemic. It was a free. Uh, cross stitch pattern um, about a week ago last week through the 26th I think and there's a lot of people stitching this um, so I've decided that I'm probably going to jump on the bandwagon for this and go ahead and stitch it there's lots of interesting things in here to stitch like birds and stuff like that 
So um, the stitch count on this is 365 by 429. So it's 429 long by 365 wide. So um, I calculated that out to um, on 28 count. And I needed probably a 30 by 36 inch piece of fabric thereabouts. And I was looking through my stash and I had some Artiste brand fabric in my stash. This is the new one I just bought today because the 30 by 36 inch, 28 count white, 28 count even weave Artiste fabric piece that I had has some pieces cut out of it because I used it for something else. So I had to buy this today. So I went, went ahead and bought another piece of 30 by 36 inch, 28 count even weave from Artiste. This is actually a Zweigart fabric, so it comes from Zweigart. Um, this is Artiste brand is the Hobby Lobby brand of fabric. And I'm gonna be um, doing the um, long dog sampler. I'm gonna be doing long dog sampler pandemic. Yes. On the 28 count even weave. And I picked up a ton of floss for it. This is DMC. The colorway is 69. This is terracotta. This is the terracotta variegated um, thing in color 69. Color 69 DMC terracotta. So I got 15 skeins of terracotta for this design. I'm hoping that's enough. Um, we shall see. It's going to be plenty enough to at least get me started and get me most of the way through. Um, I'm planning on hopefully dyeing this because this is white. I don't know if I want to keep it on white or um, try my hand at dyeing it. But a uh, huge piece. As you can see, it's a huge piece. I'm not going to unfold it anymore, but uh, well, maybe I'll st leave it on white. I don't know. So it's terracotta, and you can see it's color 69, but I got a lot for um, long dog samplers. So I'm going to probably um, tea dye or pickle jar dye it based on Carla Bean Crafts Crafty's pickle jar um, dyeing uh, process. And um, hopefully I can get that done soon and get this... Um, Get this going. Uh, I'm gonna serge the edges and everything like that. I don't even know if this will go back in the thing. Oh, good. It goes back in the thing. I'm gonna try and keep it clean before I dye it. Um, yeah, it's not going back in there very well. Oh, well. Nothing ever goes back in the package after you take it out the right way. All right, so there we go. So there is my pack of RT's 28 count even weave for Long Dog Samplers Pandemic, and I'm doing it with terracotta. Um, and this is uh, kind of browns, reddishes, and pinks, sort of. Yeah, it's more in the brown terracotta colorway. So that's going to be my Long Dog Sampler stitch. And that's all the update I pretty much have. Um, so tonight's plan is to play Animal Crossing because the new update is out. And um, so I haven't played yet today. So I have to get all, get all my daily stuff done and go try jumping in the ocean and going swimming. So that'll be fun. Um, and then I'm probably, I don't know if I'll get to dyeing this this weekend. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to dye it. I may just keep it white. What do you guys think? Should I white? Should I keep it white or should I dye it to match the terracotta? Um, I don't know. I was thinking dyeing it just because, you know, um, I don't know. So we'll see. I might do a gray. I don't know. Maybe gray in that color. Who knows? Um, so anyway, give me your thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And let me know what you think. That's all I got for you today. Um, I hope you enjoy this little video snippet and this little update, and we will see you very soon, hopefully. All right, until next time, keep on keeping on because that's all we can do, and we will see you, we will talk to you soon. Happy stitching, everybody. Happy diamond painting, and get that Halloween issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. Um, remember, it doesn't come, it doesn't, it's not included in your subscription, so you have to buy it separate. 
Um, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi everybody out there in Tube Land. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Saturday, July 4th. Happy 4th of July, everybody, if you're celebrating. Um, even if you're not, if you're spending time with family. Um, I just hope that you are doing some fun stuff today. My husband and my mom and I, we had a small home cookout. We had um, hamburgers and hot dogs, so really good on the grill um, we had some coleslaw which is basically just broccoli slaw from a bag that we've added marzetti coleslaw mix to or coleslaw dressing to and um, some <clears throat> potato salad and some fresh corn on the cob which was really good um, we ate a little too much but it was fun um, i'm drinking arnold palmer light um, iced tea um, if you don't know Arnold Palmer is considered half tea half lemonade and the light stuff I had it for the first time at the cookout that my husband's work had on Thursday and it doesn't have that weird kind of aftertaste um, bear with me just a minute there's something on my screen um, oops hold on just a minute okay well that was a little weird um so anyway i had it for the first time at my husband's work cookout on thursday and it doesn't have i'm, I'm not really big into like diet drinks or um diet sodas or you know zero sugar sodas and stuff because the aspartame and stuff has a really funky aftertaste and <laughs> you know if uh if I'm going to die from anything I'm ingesting, I'm just going to ingest real sugar. So, um, yeah, anyway, um, this stuff is actually really good. It has one-third less the sugar, and I don't notice an aftertaste with this stuff. I didn't know this stuff was really good. So, my husband has uh, graciously kind of backed me in getting me to switch over to the half tea, half lemonade Arnold Palmer Light iced tea mix um, to drink. So that is what I'm drinking now. Um, that's kind of what I'm all into this week. But anyway, um, wanted to come to you with a little bit of a quick update because I had forgotten that last weekend I stopped by my local stitching, my local needle workshop, Cross My Heart, and I picked up a new design. There is a collaboration out there between EJV Designs, Hot House Petunia Designs, and What is the other company? I just can't remember. Well, I'm doing I'm doing a bang up job with my videos this week. Um, do to do to do to do to do, and I just had it up to. Um, crikey, there we go. It's by um, Hot House Petunia, EJV Designs, and Fireside Originals. Carol Grant, my local um, at Cross My Heart, she is um, the owner of Fireside Originals. They have collaborated on this design that is called. Jewel of the Sea, the Jewel of the Sea, and there's um, several different parts to this piece. So this is from stitchesandthings.com. This is a picture on their website. I'm going to show you down here. Um, so maybe here would be better? No, I will do it here. So this is a collaboration design that you can see here don't mind my finger so you see the the little mermaid the orca the treasure chest the dolphin the submarine and the seahorse they're all on like a little carousel so um, the piece of the artwork that I picked up that is out the, the only two that are not out right yet are the um, submarine and the seahorse but all these other sorry all these other designs the orca the treasure chest the dolphin the mermaid and then the carousel top and wave bottom are all out but i picked up i picked up the dolphin and sorry this picture the model picture on the thing isn't isn't very clear but i picked up the dolphin by this is delphine xs number 89 um, by hot house petunia this is the dolphin from the carousel I do plan on picking up the other patterns. Each of the patterns retails for $12. At least that's what my local Needle Workshop has them for. Um, but I did pick up the Dolphin. 
I don't have any of the fabric. Um, the called for fabric is 28 count Demoiselle from Picture This Plus. This D E M O I S E L L E Dem Demoiselle from Picture This Plus. The stitch count is 81 by 90. I believe that's just for the dolphin. So the dolphin on its own can be a quick stitch, but I am gonna, I am planning on doing the um, the piece. I'm planning on doing this piece all together, like what's pictured here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be getting all of the patterns eventually, and um, I will find some sort of fabric that will go good on the on that these pieces will go good on. Um, so to go along with the dolphin, um, the piece itself takes. Um, some silk lame braid. So I just got the one color that goes in the dolphin. This is um, Petite Silk lame, silk lame Braid by Rainbow Gallery. This is SP51. Look at the shine on that. I'm looking forward to using that in the stitched piece. It should be kind of fun, but it's Silk lame Braid, Petite, Rainbow Gallery. It's SP51. That is uh, to go with the dolphin. So I do have that. And also while I was there last weekend, I picked up some over dyed flosses that I needed um, mainly for the um, Sing a Song Sampler Do Re Mi that um, I'm going to be doing for, um, hopefully I'll be able to, I think that's the wrong bag. Um, hopefully um, you saw this kind of last week. This is the um, Sing a Song Sampler series, um, Do Re Mi. Um, by Silver Creek Samplers. Um, so I have the fabric for it now. So I have the fabric for it now. You can see that here. I'll be doing it on 35 Count Weeks Dye Works Angel here. It's on 11 by 36 piece. I'm doing them all in a row. Um, I needed some extra um, I needed some extra flosses for it. So I've gotten the flosses here. So here is Summer Meadow by uh, Gentle Art. These, most of these are Gentle Arts. This is Summer Meadow. Summer Meadow. You can show them here. This one is Brown Bear. Brown Bear. I got Summer Shower. Summer shower. I got um, sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. I got sable. Sable. I'll leave these out for you, so you can kind of see, kind of see them. Um, yep. I got. Another thing is sable. So I have two things of sable now. Two things of sable. And then um, I picked up a Gassed Deep Forest. They didn't have a um, they didn't have a full skein of it they had packaged up. Um, so there's that. And then um, Karen Water Lilies. Uh, this is silk. This is in the color guacamole. So, guacamole. This is a uh, water lily silk, and it's in a green. Um, I needed this for. I can tell you what I needed for. I used the um, X Stitch app for my um, threads and flosses, or my flosses and my patterns and my kits that I have. Um, let me go into threads. And this is Karen Water Lilies. Uh, guacamole. I needed this for the Coffee House by Nora Corbett. Um, the Coffee House by Nora Corbett is um, a piece that I've had in my stash for a while. I just didn't have the Water Lilies to go with it. So now I have the Water Lilies to go with it. All right. So that is just some stuff that I picked up last week from my local needle workshop and I forgot to show you. So um, that is all the updates I have for you today because um, 
Well, it's the 4th of July, and like I said in my previous video, I have been working on a diamond painting. So, uh, keep watching my channel because you'll get to see the diamond painting here pretty soon. I'm so excited. Anyway, I hope I hope you've had a um, great 4th of July so far. Um, we can hear fireworks going on. Um, I'm in the basement in my house. This is my husband's in my main living, living area. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to actually leave my llama pen here for you. It's my... I found this squishy. It's one of those little squishy uh, foam things um, <laughs> at uh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I, I, I go to Hobby Lobby. I really shouldn't. I go to Hobby Lobby. But um, this was like a dollar or something goofy. And it had a, had a normal ball pen in the middle of it. Just took out the ball pen and put in one of my pink diamond painting pens. Haven't used it for diamond painting yet. But anyway, this is my new llama squishy for diamond painting. No drama llama here. This is the no drama llama. My no lo drama llama pen for diamond painting. Um, anyway, so um, that's all I have for you cross stitch wise. I hope you enjoy this little video snippet and we'll talk to you soon. I don't know when my next uh, cross stitch video will be. Um, I do plan on having a couple of big starts in the next couple of weeks. Um, so hopefully I will have some of that, some um, stitching progress updates for you soon. This is also July. There's a lot of Christmas and July sales going on. Um, School of Magical Stitches homework is always going on and um, everything like that. All the other stitching challenge Facebook groups. I know like um, Stitch Talk. The uh, um, Facebook group by Portia Parcher, they're starting a um, tour, uh, stitching challenge on Monday based on the Tour de France. So, or Tour de France, as you, however you say it. Um, I don't even know if the Tour de France is happening this year because of, you know, the whole COVID, COVID thing. But, uh, yeah. And uh, I still have to do my hair because now all my purple's washed out and I'm kind of missing my purple. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, so take care and until next time, keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. I hope you stay safe. I hope you stay healthy. Um, please don't get sick. Um, they just mandated masks here in our county or in our city yesterday. Um, it went into effect yesterday morning. Um, for the most part, people are following the mask requirements. A lot of establishments are now actually enforcing having a mask so um that's good to see because uh i'm uh, i'm definitely uh for masks so if you're not um you know i'm sure you have a good reason but um for me i'd rather be safe than sorry and get covid19 because um other people aren't wearing masks and at least i can i know i can protect myself anyway um uh, enough about that so i will uh let you go and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye now.